What's going on guys, CWG here, welcome to episode 63 on the Ball Hunters SMB. Did you know eating 46 rocks does not taste very good? Interesting. Really? That's what you guys came up with? <laughs> Anyways, I stand on this massive tower of ores. How did we get so many ores? Well, earlier, me, Rob, and Stircat ran a mine room vault with a whole bunch of plentifuls. Let's uh, roll the clip. <coughs> oh, let me mm. drink some coffee. Mm. I'm recording this. I'm Delicious. So much. Uh, oh, this, this is all coming in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, why are we here? Oh, because I have this. Uh, actually, we worked together to make it, but look at it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Are we going to keep the frenzy on there or? <laughs> Can we get rid of it? Just in case those random negatives. Stircat does wild. not like it. Let me whip out some moats of purity, and with my CWG <laughs> luck, it will get rid of the right one. You want me to whip Ooh, out maybe. an anvil too? Sure, why not? Please take <laughs> away frenzy. No, it got rid of locked, and locked doesn't matter because it's an architect vault. It got rid of locked again. Stop! <laughs> it got rid of the third locked. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is the last of my purity moats. No. It's gonna be slowed. He's gonna take away slowed. I can see this already. Oh no! If I swear, if it gets rid of slowed. Ah, he got rid of Sloan! Look, it's just Frenzy now. Okay, I have... Uh, nope, should I go nope. and get... I gotta use yeah, my I... last boat. There, it's gone. Okay. It's gone. Oh, fantastic. All curses oh, sorry, are I removed. Don't, I, I didn't have any, I'm afraid. Otherwise, I would have contributed. Damn, we all need some more moats. Moats for me? To open the portal. It's blue. Ooh. It's blue. Dabba dee dabba die. I guess this would Don't be a good to. time to say that we are running a mine room with 11x plentiful. 11 wild. Here we go. 11 wild. <laughs> we only got one wild. wild, actually. One wild. We could, we could have done mobs. the frenzy. Two trapped, rapid mobs, furious. Rapid mobs. He who mobs right before the rapid. Yeah, but Wait, then... something broke. Did something break? Was that your sword? Was that my trousers? No, that's not what. Wait. <laughs> I heard something what? on the rob break. Was it your magnet? No, no? it was my magnet. <gasps> how, oh no! How did it break? I didn't even pick up anything. I have I, one. Yeah. I don't have any. I'm afraid. I could have that. sworn it had a lot of durability. Thank I you. Mean, probably gonna break, but. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> it was my Omega magnet. No. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Cries an Omega I, Magnet. Well, hey, look, yeah. there's ores, at least. Look at all these ores. The ores will show me where to go. I'm in the walls. Nah, in the, the walls. walls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always in the walls. Black Just open. watching. Yeah, anybody wants to do a meme, uh, you know. Stir Here's inspiration in for you guys. Yeah. Stirkat is not just only always watching. She's also in the walls. Yeah, uh, you never know where I am. Dang, look at that sedium. Oh, yeah, after this, uh, Stelkat uh, and, and I were going to do a bit of a ore swap, if you're interested. Ore swap? What's an ore swap? Well, it's in, like, I've got like a whole load of some of certain unique gems, but I'm missing others. So we're just going to grab uh, all our peg gems and meet yeah, up? Yeah, just kind of have a, have a look and see what we can... Yeah, I don't that know. Sounds like fun. Admit, yeah, there may be nothing you need, but like, you know, maybe there is stuff that... You never missing. know till you pog. I heard something break. Someone's magnet break? Is that my magnet? Ah, it broke, Stir Cat. <laughs> I broke I two magnets was... this fall. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <gasps> I see a black opal someone missed. Going for it. da 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 da, -da, -da Black oh, yes. opal. <gasps> Gorgonite someone looking. missed. 11,000 XP from ores. All right, guys, we ended up getting 130 Larry, 50 Benny. How many Pag gems? Whole bunch of Pog gems, including eight monster energy ore. Nice. So yeah, thanks to that mine room, I've placed all the vault ores that we have in front of us. We got our Pag gems up in front. We got our Benny boys, Wudadai, Paynite, Alexandrite, our Black Opal, and all that Laramar. What? You're telling me that this vault ores are too phallic for you? Get your mind out of the gutter. So now we're gonna do the fun part of fortuning all these ores. I even made a colossal chest just to hold the crazy amount of gems. And after this, Rob and Stircat wanna do the pogging, or where we all take our pog gems and do some trades. I mean, look at them. They're just chilling on the couch. Let's see what's up. What's popping, guys? You wanna see me fortune some ores? Oh, oh, yes, hi. please. <laughs> I'm about to Hello. fortune the whole pile. You guys are welcome to help if you want. Me help. 
<laughs> you want a fortune sub? All right, just I fortune. I need a shim. <laughs> wait, wait, what? No, put them in the colossal <laughs> chest afterwards, of course. What? You didn't say that. <laughs> I heard you say help yourself. Is that what I heard? <laughs> you yeah, get 30 same. seconds. You get to claim whatever you get. I'm joking. Don't, really? No, no, no. no. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll start at the top of the lorry. Ah! Whee. All right, let's start the time lapse. Let's go. Yes, give me the jobs. Thank you guys for the help with the fortuning. <laughs> oh, that was fun, actually. Oh my gosh, look at all those jobs. Yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting oh. for. All right, let's see what we ended up getting. Big reveal. I'll put it on the ground so we can all see. Ooh. Over, what was that? 4,800 wow. Larry. 420. Oh, that's wow. enough for an Omega Pog. Oh, enough black opal for an Omega Pog. And then all those peg jams and two leads from the, uh, you know, let's just uh, get rid of those. 1,400 bennies, 1,500 painites for repair cores. Mm. All right, so who's ready for the paganing? That's definitely going to be the title of my video, the paganing. The paganing. <laughs> the paganing. Uh, so this, these, are, these are the ones I brought along. So the ones on the bottom row are stuff I can happily give away. Okay. Um, and the things I'm looking for mainly are Gorgonite and uh, Xenium. Oh, I can trade some Xenium. I'm looking for Pizza Gorge and Upaline and willing to trade the others. So this, uh, this whole packaging and we've done like one trade. <laughs> Z-dubs, I would you be interested in in a different kind of trade? Like, I, I definitely need Gorgonite. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to. I need thirteen Gorgonite, basically. Thirteen. Um, I'll trade thirteen Gorgonite for thirteen Vault Pearls. Bounty Stop Pearls. Vault Pearls. Like, I, I always yeah. call them Vault Pearls on X. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you know what I've got? I got exactly thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, well, Rob. Yeah. I got you some yeah. hearts. Oh, look at all these hearts. Thank you. And I just got you one big. Uh, no, my heart. <laughs> Stick out, grab hearts. the heart. Stick out. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it hearts. What a successful pogging. That is a great pogging. We should have poggings more often. <laughs> yes. Cannot wait till our next pogging party. A celebration, I will destroy this colossal chest. Pow! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the paganing. I had a lot of fun. We fortuned up all of our vault ores in sanity. We now have 5,300 Laramar, or enough for 331 extraordinary. That's just bananas. Now something we need to do is craft another magnet. Sadly, we lost our magnet in that vault, which means it's time to spend all my resources on crafting magnets, because these guys are expensive. Each magnet costs nine magnetite ingots. And I don't know if y'all knew, but each magnetite ingot requires a chromatic steel and eight raw magnetite. Now, how much magnetite do we have? We do have 3,600 magnetite. Okay. So we should be able to, like, make a stack, right? No, we're out of chromatic steel. How much carbon do we have left? Oh, we actually have, like, 400 refined carbon. Okay, so we should be able to make, like, a couple stacks of chromatic steel. That feels good. There's no way we would be able to do this early game, that's for sure. Boom! Look at all that delicious magnetite. Next, we need some vault broads. Oh, I got a comment last episode. Someone wanted me to take all the vault broads we have, compress it into platinum, then place it. So, I guess I'll do that. Since we have a compacting drawer down in our drawer setup, everything's already in the form of vault gold, so we should be able to just grab some platinum. So with all the gold we have in the system, we have 42 vault platinum. Look at it. It kind of looks like vault silver. And it's kind of insane how many resources are in this one pile right here. Give it back. All right. Well, that was kind of neat. Anyways, I need vault bronze, not vault gold anyway. And now it's time to craft some magnets. Our magnet proficiency is up to 3.2% now. And I heard in update 9, they're going to buff the proficiency. So I think after the update, we'll be at 6.4%. So yeah, let's craft a ton of magnets. I want another Omega magnet. Let's roll some magnets. Oh, we got an Omega on the first one. Oh my goodness. That is some CWG luck right there. Mm. Now I wonder, can you use the magnets in the modifier workbench? I feel like I asked this before. No, you cannot put it in there. I'm going to burn all the scrappy magnets and we'll save the common ones. Oh, actually, screw the common ones. We got a rare one as well. Nice. Also, it has 28% soul chance and 19% mana regen. Ooh. Now, do I get greedy and try to roll this? It does have 248 crafting potential. You know what? 
They do call me Gree WG, so I think we should do it. They see me rolling. Oh, now 86 soul chance. That's more like it. Let's uh, add a thing to it and 16% increased damage. Okay, definitely taking this one. So we get more damage, 86% more soul chance. Yo, dude, our soul chance is getting crazy good. I'm really starting to feel like we're getting through that mid game grind with all that soul chance that we're getting now. So that should bring our total soul chance up to 366%. Let's go. You know what? What if I got greedy with this helmet here? I want to put a nullifying foci on it so that way we can add something better. I just hope it doesn't get rid of the health. It got rid of the health. Of course it got rid of the health. Crap. Well, now we got a wild foci it until like, we get our health back. All right, I think I'm fine with this one, actually. It doesn't have health, but it does have plus six armor, bringing up to 20 armor and 39 mana. Honestly, the 39 mana is just as valuable as the health because we'll be able to pull off more heal abilities. Plus, we have a empty suffix, so we could go ahead and use our modifier workbench to get that tasty soul chance. So let's slap some soul chance on our helmet, bringing it up to 55%, a bit of a low roll. Actually, you could spend five nullifying foci to remove it. I say we remove it and try again. So we just click this craft. Uh, it removes it. Okay. Now let's try again. Oh, we got 99%. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Can we do this to any other pieces of our armor? I would do it to the chest plate, but the chest plate has nine health and 20% increased damage. I do not want to accidentally remove any of those. Our pants have 32% mana regen, so I don't want to remove that. We could try the boots. Do we want to get frisky with the boots? Let's get frisky with the boots. All right, we just have to hope that it doesn't remove health. Here we go. It removed armor. Okay. Please remove soul chance. I mean, thorns chance. It got rid of mana regen, which is eh. But who needs mana regen when we could get more soul chance? Let's go ahead and slap one on. 99% soul chance again, let's go. And let's add an amplifying. We get 12% increased damage, okay. Yeah, I'm starting to realize how powerful the modifier workbench is that you could just kind of slap on whatever ability you want. So now with our full set of gear, what is our soul chance up to? 533%, let's go. So that means we're gonna get five times the soul shard drops, oh baby which means we should start cycling through these trades here. I'll grab an inscription piece, sure. Beg. I'm mainly looking for knowledge stars, if I'm being honest here. I need all the knowledge I can get. There we go, knowledge star for 1593, okay. We got 400 soul shards in here. We're gonna need some more. We're gonna have to do a little bit of alt and... But yeah, I, my strategy is I think this will be a good way to get the knowledge that we need. Just get our soul chance up really high and keep buying it from the market. All right, so this means we have 20 hours to get enough soul shards to get that knowledge star. And hopefully with the extra soul chance, it won't be too difficult. Let's see what's in our bounty table. Uh, we need to submit some vault essence for 14 chromatic steel. Sounds like a good deal. Let's go ahead and submit and claim that bounty. Boom. I always love a good item submission bounty. Ooh, we got another item submission. Some chromatic iron, getting some knowledge. We also get some skill essence, which won't be useful much longer. And a mystery egg. Ooh. Let's grab some chromatic iron and let's submit it. Boom, claim, and another one. And for our final bounty, let's roll it till we get something decent. Complete any vault for some knowledge. Let's activate that guy. All that's left to do now is to get into a vault. Be nice to me, Vaulter. Blackstone, apples, dye, and spore blossoms. Now getting apples is one of the few things I still need to use my villager hole for. Do you guys remember the villager hole? Yep, it's still back here. Sir, I would like some apples, please. Thank you. By the way, guys, we're up to 40.9k emeralds now. You'll love to see it. Take all the items. Let's hop in the vault and get some soul shards. So we got trapped and plentiful. Trap doesn't matter too much because we got our trident of disarmament. Plentiful is always just nice to have. And it's a two monolith vault. So we should be able to get our bounty without a problem. Is that one up there? No, nope, just an altar. Oh, while we're in the vault, there's something I've wanted to do. I want to get speed three. It's going to cost 12 points. I have 11 regret points. So let's unlearn 10 levels of our vein miner, bringing it down to vein mine 10, which is still 20 blocks, still respectable. But now we can pick up speed three. Oh yeah, now we're even faster. Gotta love some speed three. There's model I number one. Now, how much soul shards do we have? We got 681. I'm curious how many we're going to get from this vault. Ki, 
Our damage is like pretty good right now. Oh yeah. And we got 10 soul shards from like those three mobs. That's pretty good. Hey, we got the Omega factory room, AKA the paint drop room. You know I need to get in those buckets. And yes, they buffed this room. Look at how many living chests are in these now. Tasty, I need that knowledge. And I do still have the triple jump amulet. <laughs> it's so good. I'm gonna be so sad when this triple jump finally expires. Maybe I'll even make a new one, who knows. Livings! Omega. Now let's break apart these paint drops. Our vein mine's still decent enough so we can harvest these tasty ores. Omega. Oh my goodness, another Omega room. We get the castle room, let's go. Don't mind me, I'ma just be looting some ornate chests. I'm always down to find new vault gear stuffs and things. Omega. And there we go, the castle room is looted. We managed to get a few pieces of vault gear, let's go. Hey, we got a normal factory room. Let's go up there and get our netherite block. I see a netherite block in there, gimme. And some tasty cinnamon buns. And look at that. Monolith number two. We're already done. Now we gotta kill as many mobs as possible because we need those tasty soul shards. Mm. And now we find a puzzle room? We're getting all the crazy rooms today. And it needs no green pieces. Let's go. Now, do I have any yellow pieces in my backpack? I do have two yellow pieces. I think we can already complete this. Actually, no. We have no yellow pieces. Interesting. Well, let's grab our... Tornado of Doom, we should be able to get a couple yellow pieces out of this room, I think. Here, I'll speed up this footage of me getting these little question marks. Maybe it'll look cool. Mine in pieces, mine in pieces. Gotta mine those puzzle pieces. What are we doing? Mine in puzzle pieces. Yeah, yeah, puzzle piece. And we ended up getting six yellow pieces, more than we needed. We didn't get any green, sadly, so we won't be able to save any for next time. But this is still definitely a win. Let's go. And thanks to our trying to disarm it, we shouldn't have to worry about traps. Nice. There's a lot of zombies. Does that mean there's a zombie elite coming? Show yourself. There he is. You guys see him? Now remember, if we take any damage to an elite zombie, that's just embarrassing. Although this, this is hard to time because the triple jump gives you like extra jump boost. Oh, we got hit by him. We suck. Yeah, the, the jump boost is messing with me a bit, but it's definitely worth the jump boost because we can just zoop, zoop, zoop around the vault super easily. I do kind of miss my leveled up vein mine, but I'd say it's worth it to get the speed. Gotta go fast. X mark room with three minutes left. Let's do it. We got mobs, which is a good thing because we need soul shards. Come at me, mobs. This room essentially turns into a free mob farm. In the bottom right of the screen, you can see how many soul shards I'm picking up. It actually kind of keeps track of it. They added that in update eight and it's super useful. Like we already got 47 soul shards from this. 58 soul shards. Oh my goodness, 68. Nice. Gosh, the mobility you get with triple jump really is amazing because you could do this dash and then triple jump out of it. That was kind of a bad example, but it's really good. Like for instance, if I wanted to get up there, I could go dash the jump, jump. Nice, you get two extra jumps after your dash. It's just really good. You can also negate fall damage because you could just jump off a cliff, then boop, do a jump at the last second and pretty much negate all the fall damage. I haven't realized how much I missed triple jump. Also, we are running out of time and we are on the wrong side of the vault. Ruh -roh. Will we make it out in time or will I have to eat a bit of lemon? Stay tuned. Now I'm hoping this is the starting room, but I'm known to pick the wrong direction whenever I'm behind the vault. Hey, I picked the right direction. Let's go. The clock's ticking, but I, the vault portal is in sight. No need to eat any lemons. Let's uh dash through less than 10 seconds. Bounty complete, 16,000 XP, 150 chests looted. Not a bad vault and my inventory's full. Why did this carbon not go into my pouch? No idea, it's a mystery. Let's go ahead and claim our bounty crate here, nice. We got a lot of items to add to the blacklist like this, 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 and this. Do not add the netherite block, that would be bad. We got a bunch of random inscriptions, that's cool. A bunch of jewels that suck. That's cool. The netherite block's always nice. Let's pop open these crates real quick, see if we get anything good. Pop, pop. And we get some more jewels that suck. 
nothing out of the ordinary. And we got a bunch of level 60 gear to roll. We'll roll all this gear and tell you if we get anything good. And everything sucked. That's okay. Now, I want this knowledge star and we managed to get up to a thousand soul shards. So we got like almost 400 from that vault alone. Not bad. Well, it means we're going to have to smelt some stuff down. Now, apparently I did not empty my scab pouch at some point in the past. So let's empty that. Also, I noticed we we got 93 XP levels thanks to fortuning all those ores. That's pretty nice. All right, I'm going to allow these scab parts to smelt and I'll let you know how many shards we get out of it. And we ended up getting 150 from that. Not bad. We still need about 400 more soul shards. Let's see what we can smelt. Well, we do have 1200 vault ingots, which is kind of ridiculous. Let's smelt a couple stacks of those because each of these are worth 81. And that's like a lot. And there we go. That should be enough soul shards. And we have vault ingots to spare. So I'll take them out for now. Dang, you get so much soul dust from these vault ingots. You'll love to see it. Let's grab a knowledge star. And we also got 119 knowledge essence from that vault alone. Nice. We're really starting to get a ton of loot from these vaults and I'm all for it. You guys want me to roll the mystery eggs? All right, let's roll the mystery eggs. Remember, we're trying to get a wither skelly. It would be very nice. And I don't know what that is. That's a zombie. I think those two are cave spiders. Yes, they are. Darn. We have two drown eggs. Is our drown farm down here full? Yeah, we already got four drowns in there. Oh my gosh, 13 and a half thousand copper has been produced you'll love to see it so if we look at our knowledge count now we have one knowledge star and enough to make eight more so that's nine total the next mod i want to unlock is phytogenic insulator which is going to cost 26 so we got a little bit before that now you guys are probably wondering what's our progress with the mega base i would love to move out here although i'm gonna miss this place for sure and the answer is uh, uh nothing i'm sorry I've been pretty busy this past three days and haven't had time to work on this, but I'm thinking about doing a building live stream tomorrow. Also, we're doing a live stream for the server on this weekend. There's going to be tons of live streams. I'll put a picture on the screen of the schedules for the live streams. Hope to see you all there. I might even stream tomorrow building. Who knows? But it's going to be awesome. And hey, even though it took me three days for this episode to come out, at least I'm not like most big YouTubers who take a week between episodes. Eh? Eh? And with that, it's meme of the daytime. Today's meme comes from God's right hand from the Discord. Flying out of the actual exit of the cave. Ugh. Flying out of a random one block hole. Yeah. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you're subscribed. CWG out.